Queen sold for $3,399 free shipping less than 12 hours after listing. I found these at an estate sale for $15 and sold them for $1,225. 15 into 1,225. I mean, that's not a bolo, right? Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Hey, bolo buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are going to talk about big money bolos, items that you can pick up cheap and sell for a profit. Do you know that people do this full time? Oh, if you don't, it is definitely possible. I am a full time reseller. This is what I do. I buy stuff cheap and sell it online. But in this video, I am going to share with you sold items from other resellers from my Bolo Buddies Facebook group, which looks like this. If you're not in it, definitely go join. It is in my link tree down below. You can click on that and it's going to show you all of my links to include my Facebook groups, Instagram, all of that stuff. But in this video, I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it, and what it sold for. And this first item is a Build-A-Bear. So how many of you see Build-A-Bear all the time and you walk right past them? Well, let me tell you, some of them sell for big money. I have a video that looks like this and... I talk about Build-A-Bear. One thing that I learned when I was doing this video is that a lot of times Build-A-Bear sell for more on Mercari. So if you are an avid Build-A-Bear reseller, definitely get on Mercari. I have a link down below. If you use that link to join, you're going to get $10 to shop. You're going to get another $20 to shop when you sell $100 worth of stuff. But this video right here, I mean, I was like, I couldn't believe it. I just could not believe it. So I know that things that are saturated on eBay do better on other platforms from time to time, but Build-A-Bear is definitely one of them. This one is a Powerpuff Girls Blossom Plush Build-A-Bear that sold for $90. She says, the buyer told me that she had Build-A-Bear Powerpuff Girls sold for 90. I paid only 90 cents. The buyer told me that she already has the plush and bought it to just have the dress. Wow. She bought the doll for the dress. She paid $90 basically for the dress is what I'm hearing. Yesterday, somebody contacted me asking for the buyer's contact because he would like to buy the dress. So if you see the dress somewhere, it is a bolo. Huh. So that's funny. The person buying it only wanted the dress and then somebody reached out to her asking for the buyer's information, which I would never give out. Um, if personally me, I would not, I would not do that. And that person wanted the dress. So the dress is a bolo. I wish I had a close up of the dress. It looks like it's pink and black there. I picked books up regularly at the bins for 25 cents a piece. I always keep my eye out for vintage Sweet Valley High. Chapter books. This was a lot of 11 that sold for $55, full asking price plus shipping. Fun and nostalgic bol bolo. This is what they look like right here. Sweet Valley High. Bought for $3.95 at a thrift store and sold it for $40 plus shipping. I've had it for about two months, but puppets sell well for me. They have to be in great condition though for me to buy them. I have sold puppets that are not in great condition. So I just say puppets do really well. Um, they range from bread and butter to big money, but I usually pick up about every puppet I see as long as it is a good price. And I just did a video on puppets, so check that out. I'll link it down below. I found this at the Goodwill, paid a dollar, Great Bolo. It is a Gory Cats Paper Dolls by Edward Gory, Trumbador, Trumbador Press. First uncut, 4140, and this is what it looks like. Paper dolls definitely can be a bolo. I found these at an estate sale for $15 and sold them for $1,225. 15 into $1,225. I mean, that's not a bolo, right? Oh my goodness. They're two inch Chris Lloyd Bacalite. Bacalite. Oh my goodness. Bakelite. 
Backgammon checkers. I put them on an international auction. In minutes, I was getting so many offers, I actually had to go write in the description that I was not taking offers before people stopped. The offers were around 500. Glad I held out for the bidding war. So, Bakelite. Definitely, definitely can be a bolo. Jewelry comes in Bakelite, but also backgammon, checkers, they can be Bakelite. Now, are they common? I would say no. Uh, I have found a, what was that game called? I sold a game. I cannot think of what it was called right now. You guys help me out. They're the rectangle tiles. Oh my goodness. It's one of my best bolos ever. And I cannot think of what the game was called. But anyway, that game also has them. And they're, they're incredible. But if you want to learn how to test if something is Bakelite, I do have a video. Type in Bolo Buddies Bakelite into the YouTube search and that will pull up. You can use something called Semichrome. I think that's how you say it. It's really cheap. It comes in a bottle. It lasts forever. <laughs> okay, it doesn't last forever, but mine does because I don't use it very much. And it's, it's a great way to test and it's really easy. So check out that video. I love this next one. I found these vintage Playtex Nurser baby bottles. My mom used these for my brother. They were 99 cents. I picked up all they had. My total was $9. I looked up comps, saw they were selling high. I put them on eBay for 160 plus shipping and they sold in about a month and they sold for full asking price. This is what they look like. How awesome is that? Hi, Courtney. I watch your YouTube channel faithfully, and I wanted to post a first-time bolo. I found this at the Goodwill Bins for $1.70. I listed it for $89.99 plus shipping, and it sold the same day for my full asking price. The buyer was all in for $106.57. Next time, I will do what you recommend and start it out at an auction first and list it even higher. I was okay with my profit, though, and so thankful. I'm hoping for many more. This is what it looks like. It is a Go Games tan brown plush floppy stuffed wolf realistic animal collectible. So really awesome bolo. But yeah, I definitely, if you can't find any like it, start it at an auction and start it high because you just never know. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, The Kitchy Canson. And she said, I bought this lamp lantern at a garage sale for $5 and I listed it for 50. Three days after listing, I took a best offer of $42.50 Gotta love garage sale season. Thank you, Courtney. This is what it looks like. It is a vintage cobalt blue glass globe hurricane light railroad lantern lamp, Hong Kong. <laughs> I love that blue. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Piece of Scrap on YouTube. And this is her YouTube channel. So you're hearing me say Bolo Buddies member. That means they have joined Bolo Buddies memberships on this channel for perks. Level two and up gets you a pop-up of either your YouTube channel or your eBay store, and it is also linked down in the description. If that is something that interests you, you can join Bolo Buddies memberships. If not, no worries. My channel is completely free. Memberships is for perks. So piece of scrap. Check her out. She's linked down below. She has an awesome YouTube channel. She sells a lot of clothes, and you guys don't get that from me. Clothes and shoes. So, uh... Sub her up for some different type of content. She paid $3.75 at the Goodwill and sold it for $60.04 plus $7 shipping. It is a Nike Team MLB Major League Baseball. Yeah, it was baseball. 2X Chicago White Sox Black Windbreaker. And I, I think that's an eBay sale. Be on the lookout for this small Squishmallow panda with hearts. I found this one at the Goodwill Benz. It's only five inches tall, so it must have cost less than a dollar. Turns out it is super rare edition in high demand with collectors, sold even without its tags for 185 plus shipping in three days. Wow. The buyer was very happy and said it was a college graduation present to herself. Look at him. He's from 2022. He's not even like super old. He's just probably one of those that is um, maybe discontinued. Hug Mies. He's only five inches, $185. Incredible. 
Uh, Bolo Buddies member, the Kitchy Canson, bought this. It is, she bought five Bratz dolls for $3 each at a garage sale. Listed them, listed all but this one for $25. Found high sold comps on this one, so listed it for $100. And then within less than a week, it sold for full price. Wow. So this one is called Express It Rena Doll Rare Freckles Blonde Hair Green Eyes 2001. So you can use Google Lens to figure out which doll is what. It's really, really helpful. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But Google Lens is free and I recommend it for every reseller. I do have a video of how it works and how to use it. So check that out. It is a free reseller resource. Okay, pick this up at a garage sale for $500. They paid $500. Woo! Did a ton of research on the item, and after contacting the owner of the National Lunchbox Museum in Georgia, I was confident that it was real. Listed it high at $4,799.99 and had three offers by morning. Sold for $3,000. $399 free shipping, less than 12 hours after listing, find of a lifetime. But you know what? He paid $500 for it, but he did his research. And this is what it looks like. Toppy the Elephant Tin Lunchbox, original 1957 Lunchbox Rare, Kroger Promotion. Wow. I would have looked at that at a garage sale and been like, $500? I wouldn't even have looked twice. I wouldn't have looked it up. I wouldn't have researched it. I definitely would not have called a museum. So props to this guy for doing his research and making a huge profit. That is incredible. I bought these belt buckles at a yard, at a yardage. I'm guessing that's a yard sale for $2 each. I sold one for asking price of 110 and the other gorgeous for a best offer of 55 to the same buyer of the other belt buckle. They are Pacifica. Uh, yep, I've sold these. I actually have a video on these. I got a bunch of these at a garage sale also and did I've done really well. Uh, this one's 1976 Pacifica Peter Frampton, sold for 55. And the other one is Rare Genuine 1975 Pacifica Rolling Stones. And that one sold for 110. These are typically belt buckles with bands on them. Uh, like rock bands. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Childhood Finds, and this is her YouTube channel. Definitely check her out. She has great bolos and a great YouTube channel. She said, I picked up this board game for a dollar at a garage sale last year and finally got around to counting the hundreds of pieces. It sold within a week of listing for full asking of $109.95. It is Napoleon in Europe Epic Strategy Board Game Soldiers 2002 Eagle Games no dice. So I thought it was a puzzle, but it's a board game. Wow. Yeah. Counting the pieces is no fun, but when it's a, worth a hundred bucks, it's kind of worth it. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member Dolo Deals. She said, so I always pick up old cookbooks at local bins for 15 each, 15 cents each. On this particular day, I found a trashed antique cookbook that was missing several pages. The cover was hanging on by a thread. I searched for the missing pages to no avail, listed it and sold it within a week for $51. My eBay and Etsy store are both dolo deals. I find better luck selling antique books on Etsy. So the thing is trashed. She paid 15 cents for it and sold it for $50.99 on Etsy. You gotta love that. Antique modern home cookbook with helps and hints for the household. 1890s to early 1900s. This is my best sale to date. My husband came sourcing with me, which he usually, he usually does or usually doesn't. I'm not sure. Let's see, which he doesn't. Oh, I read it wrong. My husband came sourcing with me, which he doesn't usually do. He found a tote full of Star Trek stuff for $40 at Desert Industries. It was taped up so we couldn't see much of what was in there, but we took a chance. I just sold this lot of figures for $575. I've sold all but one starship to the tune of about $800 so far. 
Not bad for a $40 chance. This lot sold on eBay. This is what it looks like. So it says, Star Trek, TOS, TNG, Enterprise, Art, Asylum, Diamond, Select, Action Figure Lot. Nice. I wanted to give this time in case there was a problem since the books were moldy. No issues so far, so far anyway. Paid 69 cents at the Goodwill outlet. So I'm not sure if they smelled moldy or if they physically had mold on them. Um, do you guys sell things that have mold on them? Because I have a tendency to not do that because I'm afraid somebody would have like a mold allergy or something like that. But stuff that just smells moldy, like it's been in a damp basement, I have sold items like that. But I have a tendency to also usually just stay away from that stuff. So this could be a good learning experience for everyone. Let me know down in the comments what you guys do if something smells moldy. Like, do you have a tip or a trick to make it not smell moldy? If it has mold on it, do you list it? If you have a mold allergy, what are your thoughts on this? <laughs> I mean, we could go all kinds of places with the mold issue. But it is a 1990 Microsoft QuickBooks, still sealed, new, three books have mold. So if it's still sealed, what I'm guessing is the person is probably buying this, going to throw away the packaging, pull the stuff out of the sealed stuff, and it's going to be completely fine. So, um... Yeah, I'd love you guys' feedback down in the comments. It looks like it sold for $149.99. Paid $1.25 at a thrift store when all their stuff was marked down to 75% off after Christmas. They had tons of ornaments since they had most priced at $5 or $10. I bought a bunch of ornaments. Most were bread and butter. Only three of these have been on eBay in the last year. None currently, so I priced double what the last one sold for and took a best offer of $80. Yes, I like your thinking. It is a 1992 through 1994 Insco Treasury A Child's Christmas Books Baby Mouse Ornament. And this is what it looks like. Yes, price it high, guys. Keep those comps high. While this is a bread and butter, it is just a sponge for a certain cleaning system. Bought at the Goodwill Outlet, so probably 25 cents or less. Can you believe $25 for a smiling sponge? It is a Scrub Daddy Daisy Dishwash or wait, dish wand system sunflower replacement head. So I have a funny story about this. Um, I picked one of these up at the Goodwill Benz outlet also, but mine was not, I don't know if it's the same brand. I think it is, but it um, was not in the packaging and something just told me you need to keep this. And I will tell you, it is amazing for spot cleaning, like plush and stuff like that, because I don't know if this is the same type that I'm showing you, but mine is soft on one side and it has a scrubby on the other side. So I can really like scrub those plush and get those spots off. It is amazing. And a lot of times I'll do that and then throw it in the washing machine, but you want to get that stain off first and that scrubby side really works great. So there's a little tip if you ever see one of these. Keep it. Oh boy. Let me start by saying thank you for all you do for the reseller community. I'm new to reselling, just started in, a no in November. I clean out abandoned storage units for inventory and without the things I'd learned from watching you and other YouTubers, I would have thrown away so much money. I would like to share my best bolo to date. Thank you for watching and I appreciate the shout out very much. She said, I found these Birkenstock sandals in a box of actual garbage in a unit. I was cleaning out. I thought they would be worth saving because of the brand and they were in decent condition. Boy, was I surprised when I looked up comps and saw similar sandals selling for $150 to $250. However, all of the sold comps and currently listed sandals in this style were brown and mine were black. I searched Terapeak and found only one black pair that sold for $280 free shipping. I figured black must be rare, so I priced mine at what I thought was high at $299. 99 plus shipping. They were listed for five days and had over 60 views and 11 watchers, all of whom I sent offers of $269.99 to. I woke up Sunday morning to cha-ching and it sold for full asking price of $299.99. The buyer was all in for $347. Woohoo! 
300 for 30 year old used sandals. I am still amazed wondering now if I should have auctioned them, but still super happy with what I got, especially because they were so close to ending up in the dump. Want to look for Birkenstocks women's slides with flower cutout. Brown are good, but black are better. The flower cutout style with a strap on the back seemed to do pretty good. And this is what they look like. And she is calling them Birkenstocks and they're Doc Martens. When I saw the picture, I'm like, I don't think those are Do uh, Birkenstocks. She's got it right in the title. They're Doc Martens, you guys. And yes, vintage Doc Martens definitely do well. And oh my goodness, they're a size six. That is a super hard size to sell. So if these would have been a bigger size, she probably could have gotten even more. So, but Birkenstocks are a bolo also. But Doc Martens, if you find the old ones, they can do really well. Bought this old wood carving wall art at an antique mall for $5. Everything there was so expensive. So was surprised at the price. I thought it looked like the Madonna and mentioned that in the title, but misspelled it. Still sold on auction for $131.50. It is very different from other listings of wood carving spirits by felt it fit, but felt it fit the category. And this is what it looks like. And this one comes from YouTube channel Thriftaholic. And here is her YouTube channel. I will link her down below. Definitely go and give her a follow. She has reseller content. So this is what her little, um, she called it vintage wood carving spirit, Madonna, not head, tree log, home cabin folk art. This next one comes from Bolo Buddies member, YouTube and eBay is Resell and Donkey Yells. And this is what the YouTube channel looks like. Bought this very heavy frog vase from a thrift store for $12. It sold within three days of listing. This was one of the most difficult packaging I have had to do to date. It was delivered and I haven't gotten any notification from the buyer to arrive damaged. So fingers crossed. Thanks for all you do. You are a very hardworking lady and we appreciate you. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate that. So let's look at her item here. It's an art pottery urn vase, 3D applied frogs, lily pad, ref flowers, 12 inches tall and earth tone. Wow, that would be hard to ship. Very cool item. And this is also from the same um, YouTuber, Resell and Donkey Yells. This is just a vintage baby blanket that was probably handmade. I picked it up at a thrift store for a few bucks. Bread and butter, but it was so cute. Thanks so much. Appreciate you. Vintage Noah's Ark baby crib blanket, hand quilted ruffles, satin trim, pastels, animals. $29.95 on this. Now, keywords that she used. Satin trim. Definitely use that in your title. Uh, quilted. Very, very good also if it has that quilted pattern. This one also comes from Resell and Donkey Yells. Pick these pillows up at a Goodwill for half price. Color of the week, paid $2 each. Took about four months to sell, but a win in my book. Pair of Loren, Ralph Loren floral throw pillowcases sold for $64.95. Bought at a church rummage sale for $1. Sold within a week on Mercari for full asking price. This comes from Bolo Buddies member, Halen Vintage, and this is what her eBay store and YouTube channel look like. This is a 1996 Molly Dolly from the Big Comfy Couch, original clown doll with vinyl face. Sold for $84 plus shipping on Mercari. This one comes from Franklin Hill Ventures. He is a moderator of the Facebook group. He also sells on Whatnot under the same name, and he has a YouTube channel. So his Etsy store is FH Ventures. This is a 1975 Avalon Hill Wooden Ships and Iron Men Fighting Sale Game. Paid $3.98 at the thrift shop and sold for $72 plus shipping on Etsy. In general, any old Avalon Hill games are bolos. This is what it looks like. So he sold it on Etsy. Now... Franklin Hill Ventures sells on Whatnot, and he does a ton of ephemera on Whatnot. So if you want to buy ephemera, if you want to learn how to sell ephemera on Whatnot, definitely go and give him a follow. He um, has been doing it for a long time. 
If you're not on WhatNot already, let's try that again. Um, I do have a referral link down below. If you use that, you will get $15 to shop. That's free money. Go buy yourself something. Um, and follow me. I'm Bolo Buddies over there and Franklin Hill Ventures. All one word. That is his um, WhatNot. So give us both a follow and use that link below to get that free money. Oh my goodness, this next one. Ah, I love it. I found this vintage rubber face rushed and bare at the Goodwill Benz. What? Thanks to this group, I knew what to look for. I paid approximately 45 cents. I listed it high at auction on eBay and had many watchers. Changed it up to buy it now and took best offer of $500. So 45 cents into $500 and she got it at the Goodwill Benz. Talk about a big money bolo. It sold end of April. I am so excited. And this is what it looks like. It is a vintage Rushton bear, plastic face, red, white, crying for you plush. Sorry, it's really, really small, but I'll pop it up. You guys will be able to see it better. I found this book at the Salvation Army for $1. I listed it for $275 and took a best offer of $250. It is Edward Pernkoff. Did I say it right? Atlas of Topographical Applied Human Anatomy, Volume 1, 1963. Would you have picked it up or walked past it? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. This is a whole playlist of videos that go on and on for each month of the year. Uh, come share a bolo over in the Facebook group. Go to the featured section and post a screenshot, tell me where you got it, what you paid for it, and what it sold for, and I will feature it in a video like this. I hope to see your bolo in a future video. If you want to join memberships for perks, level two gets you the pop-up and the link down in the description. That is optional. My channel is completely free. Memberships are for perks, but level two will get you that. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share, and thanks for watching.